All right, Applejack, can you see, make sure I get this mask on? Oh, Applejack. You're a cat, of course you wouldn't put my mask on. Oh, hi, YouTube, this is Maya, and I would uh, like to welcome you back to my show, Hello World with Maya. So, where have I been the last several months? Well, number one, uh, I am so sorry I haven't put any content on YouTube. Uh, that's my bad. But what have I been up to the last several months? So when we last left off, I was uh, on my way to Savannah. Actually, it was before that. I was uh, getting ready for uh, fall semester 2019. And by the way, that went really well. I got good grades all the way around, but it was a stressful semester. And speaking of which, I'm smack dab in the middle of spring semester and all my classes have moved online. I'm getting ready to graduate and I'm this close. Oh, sorry, I'm using my iPhone here. And some of the other things that happened, I told you I had gone to Savannah and I decided to go there instead of Dragon Con and I had loads of fun and it was nice to have a change of pace. It was nice to get away from all the jostling crowds and it was nice to stay in Airbnb. That being said, I ended up taking Dragon Con with me. This time though, I stayed with uh, some people that ran an Airbnb who were nerds that were just surprised why in the world someone like me would ditch Dragon Con for Savannah because they had always wanted to go and had never been. And that was really nice. I liked the whole community sense, but the people I stayed with there, not the host and her brother who ran the Airbnb, but the other people who I shared the house with were cool enough, but they're heavy drinkers. And I also learned that the city of Savannah is a very wild town and people there are heavy drinkers. So I dealt with that. And then I also dealt with some really, really, really snotty tourists. And I'm not even going to get into that, but overall I had fun walking along the river and I had quite a bit of seafood. I went to the Moon River Brewing Company and then some other adventures of mine. I bought a new iPhone, which is what I'm using now. I have the iPhone 7 because my little uh, iPhone SE that I had kept shutting off on me. So I went to Apple to find out what was going on and I decided to get their cheapest phone, which was the iPhone 7. And I've been happy with it since. And what I like about it is that I can use it to sell my work and turn it into a professional portfolio for when the time comes. So. Super happy about that. Uh, can't afford to get the 11, unfortunately, but I'm happy with having the 7, even though other people told me it was better for me to get the 8, but whatever. I'm happy anyway. So some other adventures that happened in the last several months. Um, I went to New York and did a blog for Future Horizons. So Temple Grandin was there, and then I met Nick Maley, that, who is that Yoda guy. And then I also went to Disney World, and you'll find that content on here. And then, as you guys know, um, uh, we are social distancing together at this point. And so, anyway, what I'd like to do now is probably post all my content and do a special tribute to Disney because I didn't have a chance to post those or edit them or anything. But I think now is the perfect time for that, for you guys to see my Disney adventures, because you need something to look at. And then as you guys know, I have been working on a podcast. Now, what's that all about? So as you know, I had interviewed Kayla Rodriguez, and we talked about autism and Tolkienism in the workplace. Now, where did that all come about? So, first of all, uh, I got invited to do a podcast on another uh, platform called uh, Converge Autism Radio. And Stephanie Holmes is the host, and she is the uh, mother of a autistic girl or, or an autistic woman, young woman, just became an adult. 
she graduated from college. And I was so inspired that I decided to take my hello world with Maya to a whole new level and create my own podcast. And I have lots of people who I know in my networks and I'm able to get interviews with them. And in fact, I have a special surprise mystery guest coming up possibly either at the end of the month uh, or the first Sunday in May. And I think you might be able to enjoy that. In the meantime, I wanted to let you guys know that I am so sorry that we're stuck in the middle of this big disaster. The first time that I heard about um, everybody having to social distance and all of our lives being placed on hold, I had a meltdown and I cried my heart out to my counselor. I also became very frustrated when I hear when I heard people talking about possibly wanting to move our classes online because uh, my routine got interrupted. But uh, know that it is okay to cry because that is your life. And there's certain things that we just can't do right now and it's frustrating. Like I was supposed to be part of a women's panel last month and due to COVID-19, we had to postpone the event. I'm also mad that they had to cancel Free Weekend Atlanta and Momocon. And so that's really disappointing. And I'm sure that the uh, Decatur Arts Festival will also be canceled. Because that means I can't find some friends and go to one of my favorite events, downtown Decatur. And that stinks. But again, it is, this is something that you can't control. And there's just nothing you can do. The best thing you can do is just ride out the storm, stay strong, and remember that we're all in this together. So anyway, thank you so much.